What's up, YouTube? Your boy JM8686 right here. On today's video, I will show you how to make sure your rotor works, the measurements, your apex seal measurement, how you, how you measure it, how to clean the rotor groups, make sure your apex seal goes side by side. If it doesn't, I will make sure I will make sure how to show you how to clean it. We're gonna need a new apex seal. We're gonna need a digital caliper for measurements. And we're gonna need some filing tools. So let's hit the intro and let's continue to the video. We're gonna clean it, we're gonna measure it, and we're gonna measure the apex seal, and we're gonna clean the grooves. Alright YouTube, we are back. We have our 13B rotor in here. We have an apex seal right here, 2 millimeters. We have our filing little tools right here. So you can file this down, clean it up inside. Just in case the grooves are closed, we're going to make it straight. We're going to open it up a little bit. Because of the, of the friction, it always going to kind of close this. This groove right here kind of closes sometimes, so what we're gonna do is not open it, but file it a little on the inside so our apex seal goes through it without a problem. We have our caliper here. First of all, we're gonna make sure we have a 2 millimeters apex seal, not a 3 millimeters from a 12A or the newest one, high performance. We're gonna measure the thickness. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put them in here. I'm gonna measure right. There. Let's see if my camera focuses. There you go. How much is there? 1.90. 2 millimeters. I'm going to measure everywhere. I want to measure again here. How much is there? I can't see the camera in there. There you go. Another one here. Right in the end. Let's see. 2 millimeters right there. 1.90 something. I mean, you guys know. 2 millimeters. So that's what we're doing there. So, what we're gonna start now we have 2 millimeters in here. Apex seal. We're gonna put a gauge away. And now, we're gonna need. Um, a little filing this is like I think the top is like less than two millimeters let's measure it we have the caliper in here as a zero I'm gonna open it the tiny part in there it's 1.50 1.49 okay so this is gonna work and then the other one same way less than two millimeters on the skinniest part and then we have a flat one see the camera is gonna focus okay there's a flat one in here so we have three of them we have a flat one we have a conic one right here and then another conic in there so what we're gonna do we're gonna grab your router and you're gonna go on the groove on the inside. You're gonna go gentle, just put them in here. Just make your way down. Let's see if you can see it there. This way is better. Come on, focus there. You're gonna grab it from here. You're gonna file it down. Just go light, side by side. Side by side. The other one and try your apex seal. This one goes in there. 
Remember, you have to go side by side. See the one is in? Just to drag it. See? All the way down. That's what we're looking for. All the way down. Good. Another way you're going to put them in there. Good. In here. That's good. So, on this side right here, it's a little bit close. So, let's try to make a little bit of. Let's clean it inside. All we're doing is not opening it, all we're doing is cleaning it. So, this is what we need. Now, we're gonna grab the flat one. Right on the edge from the inside. That's all it needs. We're not taking any material like a lot, it is a tiny bit. We're gonna try to epix it again. Good. We'll try running side by side. That's in, good. Good. There you go. Good. This side is ready. Now we're going to get the conic one again, see right on the edge on the outside, we're going to go once, going this way, here, one, two, three, four, five, only thing we're doing here is getting the sharp edge off, because remember all the friction on the housing, getting the edge off, now we're going to flip it around, same way, one, two, three, four, a little dust off. There you go. That's perfect. That's one side down. Now we're gonna go to the next one. Same thing. You can either go with the flat one or you can go with the conic one. Whichever you have. Has to be at least two millimeters or smaller. sure these ones are not touching anywhere so it's always gonna put a little pad in here or something so I'm being careful I'm not dropping anything put them in there so I'm gonna put in the edge straight there this is kind of on the side in there
Okay. Oh, we have this one ready too. The pixel goes side by side, goes in no problem. There you go. Good. Let's move to the next one. This one is ready. Ready? Ready? And one more to go. Oh no, actually this one is ready too. You guys see how it goes up by side? Good. 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 Well, this road is good. This road is ready. Now, what else can we do? If you guys don't know how to, how to tell which rotor you have. Let me zoom in in here. See the markings. R is the rear. C that's the weight number. And those are the serial number. Or what type of rotor we have. As you can see right here, this one is 365 with the little G at the end. Those are the ground 365 grams. So, so this could be as a, as a high compression. And then if you guys don't have these markings in here, the other way, like I told you on a previous video, you're gonna look for the, for the IQ or bar cord number right here. This is this one right here. Your first letter, each corner is gonna have an S. This S there, is an S right here. There's an S right here. So you're gonna go on the side of the gear, which is this one right here, or your gear side, and you're gonna look for the barcode or the IQ code, IQ code, which is this one right here. There it is. This boy right here. So you're gonna go in here. It's remember each corner has an S or this letter, and this one right here does your weight. This is your one right here. So if you want to know, and then if you're building a rotary engine, you can always keep one letter between. So uh, A, B, C, this one works with the A and a B, and a D. So you can always keep one. So it'll work with the A, B, and D. It won't work with the A. So between A, B, C, and the A, B, and D. So always make sure that, so it can stay in the same. So now let's find out how much this one weights. Let's get this iron scale right here. Let's turn it on. There you go. We're gonna put it on pounds. Acting up, so it's pretty much zero. Turn it back off, turn it back on. Here it goes zero zero. We're gonna grab your rotor. We're gonna place this rotor in here, and now we're gonna see how much it weights 9.4.
we're gonna put it on grams Four hundred and twenty grams. And this one right here said I can This one said it's three hundred and sixty five grams. But you know why? It's showing right here four hundred and twenty grams. 415, 420. It's because as you have the O-rings, it's dirty, and then you have the